Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Stalker 25 and today I got a brand new set of action figure reviews for you guys. These are the Hasbro Marvel Legends Beyond Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. This is the two pack between Thor and the Destroyer. Brand new all molded Destroyer. I believe this pack goes for like $60 or something like that. I did only spend like $37 ish on this technically with like I bought it on Amazon and I had like rewards credit on there and stuff like that. So 37 bucks, technically still 60 though. Um, but yeah, this pack's pretty cool. I actually really like it for $60. Could it have been a little bit better? Sure. I think they could have had some sort of improvements in some areas. Um, but I actually really like this one and I kind of thought this one was kind of worth it in general. Um, but really quick, just so I don't have to do it later. For the uh, height check on these guys, Thor does stand just about like seven and three fourths inches tall, and the Destroyer is just about nine and a quarter inch tall or whatever. So Destroyer is a big guy. Uh, Thor is pretty big. This is the same Thor. If you are curious and wondering, this is the same Thor that we have previously had before, um, with the what was it, 80th anniversary, and as well as Ragnarok. I think that was Target exclusive. So, um, pretty nice. The uh, added bonuses with Thor are you do get Mjolnir as always. It's that smaller, more comic accurate Mjolnir, I guess. Um, I prefer the MCU style one where they make it a little bit bigger, or I guess uh, this one might even be. A little bit more of a preference here. This is the um, Herald of Galactus Thor from... I don't even remember what wave this is from. Uh, but yeah, that one. Was it Controller Wave? I don't... No, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, that one. Um, you do get this new, nice added head. So it's got like more of the mask. Um, I don't recall this look for Thor with like the... The mask on the helmet being like equipped, but it's cool. Reminds me of almost like Jane's Thor a little bit, like Mighty Thor. So this would be a kind of cool helmet to pair with like a Jane as well. Hopefully we could get a new one of those at some point for comic book. And then you do get the uh, fist for Thor as well. So those are all the accessories you get with Thor. And then with the Destroyer, you do get two sets of hands. Um, you get the set of fists that are on him back there. This one right here, which is a more like gripping hand, I guess. So maybe if the All Father Wave Odin head works on him, maybe you could give him like that staff. Is it Kungnir or something like that? I can't remember. And then you get more of this open grip hand here. So would have been nice to get two of these same ones on both sides, but oh well, it is what it is. It's kind of fine. Um, and then yeah, there's Thor and Destroyer. So we'll take a quick look at Thor first since he's mostly reused. There is some new in him. Um, but yeah, here's Mjolnir as well. So you do get the nice uh, little, uh, let me get this. You do get the nice little inscription on Mjolnir. So pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Thor. Thor's nice. I do like this new head sculpt with the uh, the face here and everything like that uh the one cool thing is if like maybe you just don't like ragnarok really that much as a character or in general could always throw this head on there and then have technically three thors or like a, a bearded thor as well um so yeah this is like i said very similar same sculpt for a lot of aspects uh the cape is the same pretty much um except it's like slightly different color from ragnarok it's a little bit brighter red uh, I wish it was almost, instead of like the flowing down, I wish it was almost going more straight down. Um, the cape does make it kind of hard to maneuver the head. You can't really turn Thor's head at all because of his hair. So the hair runs into the cape constantly everywhere, so that kind of sucks. Um, really, this is as high as Thor is going to look up with his standard head. You could get him looking down just a little bit, but it does run into the hair there a little bit as well. Um... But again, Thor sculpt is pretty good. I really do like this one. The back looks good. I could even see them maybe like reusing this body. Just get rid of the cape, reuse a lot of this body for like an ultimate Thor. I would really love to see an ultimate universe Thor and our new ultimate Mjolnir and stuff like that. They could even just use a lot of uh, the previous Beta Ray Billhammer for ultimate Mjolnir for like similarities. Like parts of it could probably be reused. Um, but Thor is good here. Arms can get up. Uh, you do get the new added paint on the side. It's not 100% accurate to the skin tone here. It's a little bit like, a little bit deeper, darker, like more pinkish in there. Um, but other than that, everything's the same here. So you do get the uh, diaphragm, which gets you back a little bit, forward quite a lot. Uh, a nice side to side. Ooh, 
there goes Thor's head. Nice side to side, and then you get the ab swivel or the turn right there. Um, arms got the bicep cut, or yeah, bicep cut, double jointed elbows. Very nice. This does turn on the wrist, the little bit there. Um, the wrist do swivel and hinge as well. I want to say this is a vertical hinge here, yeah. And then uh, this one's a horizontal on this hand. Um, so there you go. The legs go up that far. Back, not at all. Upper thigh cut. Thor on the splits. There you go. Um, double jointed. Pinned knees, unfortunately, not pinless. Uh, the boots as well, I will say these are new sculpted, I believe. I don't recognize these from any of the previous Thors, so I want to say these are new. The gold could have been better. It could have been more of this painted gold here, like the belt. I would have preferred that and liked that more. Instead, we just got this really, like, kind of lame... Like, in some aspects, when you look closely, it doesn't look that bad. There's, like, a little bit of a metallic, like, in there. Um, but I feel like it's just not as good as the belt gold with that paint. This is just the molded plastic, and it could have been a little bit more gold, a closer to one of Iron Man's. But instead, this looks a little bit more flat to me. Um, there is a boot cut here as well. Ankles do go back that far, and they go forward that much. And then he does have the wonderful ankle pivot. Now, Thor is very back heavy, I will say. So you do got to get him in a very specific, like, stance. Um... Because, like, it's not... For me, he's not wanting to stand fully on, like, the ankles both being the same. So I kind of, kind of... I kind of got to, like, crouch the one ankle forward a little bit more so he could stand um, on more of that back foot like that. All right, so let's get into the Destroyer really quick. So Destroyer. Pretty much I'm thinking this is entirely new. Um, the head is awesome. I really like it. Uh, one thing I would have liked to see with Thor, though, as an added accessory, would have been a set of fists on both sides and maybe like a, a grabbing hand on both from real near so he could use it on either hand. Um, Destroyer, the only thing I think I would have really liked, maybe an extra head sculpt with like the mask open, like if, if he was shooting a beam out of it, um, kind of like he does in the MCU movies or whatever uh, i think he shoots a beam in the comics and everything but yeah some nice tilt everything the head's relatively hollow so yeah big barbell joint up in there um i'll have to try and see if we could put another head on him thor doesn't look that good on there it looks too high and too small uh, but we'll have to see if i can maybe find the all father wave uh, if not i'll maybe include it in a picture somewhere towards the end if I don't actually go and find it during the review. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, pretty nice, nice side to side. Um, nothing else up in there. This doesn't move anywhere here. Uh, you do get a nice diaphragm that could go backwards pretty good. Um, it could go forward some good bit right there as well. Uh, you can get a little bit of a side to side, but you do gotta be careful because he does have all these little spikes that stick off the side. So you don't wanna like, ram those anywhere so i wouldn't go like too much with that um nice thing here they did make the shoulders turn with the uh bicep as well or with the arm so you could bring the shoulders all the way down like that um again this is all just like the molded plastic would have been nice to get silver paint i don't think there's really paint but it does look like there's almost like a little bit of darkening in there and like it might just be the shadows or it might just be the way that they did the paint um you do get the bicep cut there is a elbow swivel as well. Single jointed elbows only get you closed that much. Um, wrist do swivel and hinge, both horizontal hinges. Uh, but this wrist is very locked, unfortunately. But it does hinge. There is a little bit. It's just very stiff. A lot of the destroyer, I will say, is very stiff. So you might want to maybe do some like some heating up or something just in case. Um, no waist cut, which is a little bit of a shame because they could have easily thrown a waist cut in here and just hit it in there, um, but they didn't. So that's a little bit of a weird choice, especially with this new mold. You think you could have done that. Uh, legs go forward that much. They don't really go back all too much at all. He could do the splits a little bit. Um, again, got to be careful with those spikes on the legs so you don't run into anything. Upper bicep cut as well. So I wonder you know how he's all set up i wonder if he was almost maybe thought of as a build a figure at one point i would have liked to have maybe seen some butterflies on him just so you could have gotten the arms a little bit better um 
but yeah, they only go out that far, by the way. I forgot to do that. Uh, and then knees. This is where he's very stiff. So I'm going to be struggling a little bit here, maybe. Um, actually, I just... That one's actually working. Uh, so this is single jo or double joint knee. Looks pretty good. And then he has actually has a very good ankle rocker and ankle pivot. Um, it gets really good side to side. Goes back quite a lot. Again, do got to be careful because of all these little spikes and rivets and dents that are coming off them. You don't want to like ram into any of those and like ruin your figure. Um, but he does go forward a decent amount as well. And there you go. That's a look at your destroyer for the articulation. Um, it does worry me a little bit because you have those two little like circular knot rivets down there that almost seem like they're not that they shouldn't be there. Like I like that there's added detail, but it almost seems like it kind of like stunts the ankles movement a little bit. But uh, oh. <laughs> We have a whole avalanche. Let me uh, let me fix that really quick, and then I'll bring you guys right back. Alrighty, and we're back. So uh, that's what I meant by Thor collapsing a lot. Um, so really quick size comparison wise, really fast though. We'll get some other people in here. We got the Figma Samus. So that's your Figma comparison. Your 1,000 Toys Halo Master Chief. There you go. That's what he looks like in the mix. Your Mafex. Nightwing still needed to redo that uh, still need to do a review on him so if you would like to see that let me know in the comments again I haven't done reviews in a while so I do apologize I've had some stuff pop up and a little busy kind of lost a lot of motivation um, so G.I. Joe classified snake eyes so you know like I said I, I want to do more reviews I have a lot planned I have a whole like X-Men wave that I could do the the Chad wave or whatever um, this is Mezco Stealth Iron Man. So Moffex Nightwing Mezco uh, Iron Man. McFarlane 1000 Toys. Or <laughs> McFarlane, McFarlane Warhammer 40k. I do apologize. I am, a like I said, a little rusty on the reviews. Uh, Jazzware Halo Spartan Collection. Very nice. Master Chief. Um, Mythic Legion Black Knight. Looks good with these. A little bit shorter than Thor. Thor should be tall. Um, what did we say he was? He was like seven inches, something like that. Seven and a quarter. Seven and three fourths, something like that. SH Figure Arts Goku. The uh, the Visitor from Fortnite. That's the Jazzware six inch line. Power Rangers Mighty Morphin Red from Lightning Collection. And then just a few more. Got the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex. Let me get our friend that we got here. Alright, this is the Fortnite Victory Royale, the Foundation, rest in peace. The <laughs> Fortnite Hasbro line, unfortunately, it seems like it's been overwatched and they have lost interest and are not dealing with it anymore unfortunately kind of a bummer honestly i really like the um the fortnite line the uh victory rail and then we have for, for some marvel legend comparisons really quick for some other things we got the comic book symbiote black suit spider-man and the uh mcu america chavez as like our younger teenage girl style um of body mold in there and then for some other avengers that we've got here i guess so for an older comparison really quickly here is the old old toy biz destroyer so look at that glow up look at that upgrade that is just insane it looks so much better i do like the look of like this destroyer i would love to see like this one you know i would love to see the 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 thor buster you know remade again eventually marvel legends and this destroyer would be cool too um, I do like that look of the, the black gunmetal look and like the cool blue dots. So I'd have to go back and see what like appearance this destroyer has. This one does look very MCU almost. So like this destroyer essentially could work in your MCU shelf 
whereas this one really can't kind of almost makes me want you know almost two of these destroyers if it ever goes on a good sale just to have one in the mcu shelf one in the the comic book uh shelf just because i really like them let me know in the comments below what do you think do you think he could stand in as mcu think we'll ever get an mcu one i highly doubt it um and then uh again like i said here's ragnarok so as you could see um trying to make sure he doesn't fall over as you can see with ragnarok right here uh he has the different legs like the original thor this is more the armored look here which is nice i do like it just wish the gold was a little bit better um so if you did want to you could always thor head swaps those with your original 80th anniversary one i think or with Ragnarok, so you could put Ragnarok on this body if you want, or you could just get rid of the Ragnarok head altogether and put, you know, like I said, this one on there, and then have, you know, three different Thors, which is nice. Um, again, another Thor comparison. Here is the uh, Herald of Galactus Thor. So if you're curious, there you go. If you are wondering what it looks like, we'll do a quick head swap um, with this head on the we'll put this one on here so if you do prefer this look and don't really like the elven looking Thor I think that actually looks pretty sick with the helmet look here um, and then we'll see really quick if elven Thor head could work on uh, this Thor's body um, the hair is definitely gonna be an issue uh, it fits on the peg it looks a little small and silly and the hair doesn't fit well with this cape so yeah I'm gonna vote that as a no-go for that head sculpt but the helmeted one though that one looks pretty sick and I might actually maybe keep this look because I think that looks pretty cool um, but we'll just leave that head over there for now and uh, lastly a few more got the Walmart spider-man for the animated series the previous whatever anniversary one this one was was a 20 year anniversary captain america um, unfortunately my masked head doesn't look that good with him um, another quick comparison if you're interested here's the first appearance beyond earth's mightiest iron man do have to do a review on that almost wonder if I would have preferred the destroyer to be in like this color instead of the bright bright silver but I do like how the destroyer looks in that silver I wonder if Iron Man would have looked good in that brighter color as well um, I did have some problems with this Iron Man I actually have a second one I was gonna return it but I might end up just keeping it now uh, just because I'm kind of wanting to paint it to the gold one because I feel like that'd be pretty easy uh, there's a maestro Hulk for a Hulk comparison just in case you're curious and then last three and then we're done here here's the retro carded loki in case you want to see him with this thor and the destroyer i think all three of them look very good together um, i just got him recently from gamestop he's like 10 bucks so if you're curious in the loki you don't have one in your collection that's a great one you get two head sculpts it's not the gold like the previous loki it's um more of a yellow so the head sculpt doesn't really work a ton with a swap but you can do it and then here's the target exclusive brand new like female body mold uh with the hyper articulation i guess hyper articulation as you could get in marvel legends uh for females and there you go black widow and then the target exclusive new ant-man so she's part of the beyond earth's mightiest ant-man's technically i think a part of it even though he's not like packaged for it um so yeah we have the the Iron Man so like here's kind of like a look at the Beyond Earth's Mightiest and I'm gonna include Nat Man even though he's not but yeah no pretty great I'm wondering if the Hasbro like if the new HasLab that they're gonna do probably in like end of September October um for Marvel Legends I wonder what it's gonna be curious if it will be like Giant Man they seem to be very Avengers focused this year so I'm guessing we'll see Giant Man maybe we'll see like a scrawl head for him so to give it a reason to buy two maybe we'll see some different ant-men and wasp as like tears or maybe an ultron hank pym head or something i don't know 
pretty cool though. I'm very curious to see what they do for the rest of the year. So at some point I gotta get that Sky Cycle, maybe get the Bruce Banner and Hulk 2 pack. I don't know if I'm very interested in that one. I've got the Captain America coming at some point and I might skip the Skrull pack. I don't think I really need that one, maybe. Um, not really too sure, it's like 50, 60 bucks again. So for the price point of $60, is this one worth it? I personally, I think so. I'm really in on this Destroyer. I definitely think this Destroyer is an easy $30 maybe $35 figure by himself. I think he's really solid. I think he's really good. Thor, again, maybe $25. So is $60 really worth it? I think this pack could have been $50. Um, I would say $60, 100% if Thor got like a set of hands for each of the hands he comes with. And if Destroyer came with like an open head, uh, like an open mask sculpt or, or head sculpt, or maybe like the old All Father Odin head, if it works on here. Um, again, I'll try and get a picture of that if I can. If not, uh, I do apologize. Um, hopefully someone will do it to see if it, how it looks on there. So uh, yeah, that's going to do it today. 60 bucks. I kind of recommend it. Um, but you might be able to get this on a sale. Hopefully you can. I did see a lot at one of my local targets recently. So maybe, maybe you could get it on sale, but I did see it there. I bought it on Amazon. Hopefully it's still in stock. If you're interested, I say grab it. I think this one's probably the most worth it out of most of them. This one in Iron Man, um, and then obviously Black Widow, uh, but Hawkeye, I might wait for a sale. Hulk, I might wait for a sale. Scrolls would definitely be a sale. So uh, yeah, so that's going to do it today. Hopefully you guys found this review helpful. Um, hopefully you did enjoy. Again, I really do like both these figures, specifically the Destroyer, but this Thor does look good too. I don't hate this Thor. I just don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, but uh, it is also different than Ragnarok too because the Ragnarok Thor is the brighter blue. This is a darker blue. Maybe similar to the previous Thor. I can't remember if the previous Thor had the lighter or the darker, but oh well, I don't know. They're getting their use out of their mold. They've used it three times now. Um, so that's not bad. Maybe we'll get another Thor at some point <laughs> again. So who knows what appearance or version they'll do then. So yeah, I really like it. Really enjoy it. Um, and uh, I got plenty more reviews that I'm going to hopefully review do and start filming soon here this is august 1st so yeah it's like four in the morning so hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you all in the next one and i do apologize again for the lack of reviews for the past like a month i just again lost some motivation and i'm trying to get back into the swing of things so if this review is a little choppy i hope it's good and uh yeah if you haven't done so already would always appreciate a like and subscribe on the channel i think we're almost at like 500 subscribers so everyone new that has subscribed and commented on videos and liked them and everything like that thank you guys very much i do greatly appreciate it um i might try and get back into do i'm gonna try and do at least two a week hopefully for reviews so this is gonna come out this week hopefully next week there are two uh, so there might just be one this week, and then I'm going to aim for, like, that Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Friday, like, video slot, and, uh, yeah, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.